Hi, it's Craig with Follett, and today we're working on a Follett 7 and 15 series ice water dispenser for shaft seal replacement and bushing housing replacement. The tools we'll be using for this is going to be a set of gloves, safety goggles, a John Guest wrench, pliers, needle nose pliers, Phillips head screwdriver, and a 3 16 inch nut driver. Okay, with the main housing removed, now we can just slide the auger out. There are two pieces to the shaft seal. The ceramic piece that gets inserted into the main housing and the carbon sealing surface that mates up to the ceramic piece on the auger shaft. And we'll need to remove those and replace them. In the uh, service part kit for the shaft seal on a 7 and 15, there's three pieces. The ceramic piece that fits into the main housing, the carbon seal that spring loaded that slides onto the auger shaft, and then there's an O-ring. The O-ring is intended to be replaced on the compression nozzle so that when we insert that back into the main housing, it seals well. I'm gonna use a little bit of petrogel and I'm going to wet the inside edge of the main housing where the shaft seal is going to be received and I want to be sure to not get this into the path of the ice flow so I'm going to clean it up after I get it wetted up with the petrogel. I'm going to take my shaft seal and I'm going to insert it into the main housing with the ceramic face facing inwards I want to be sure that I don't touch the sealing surface of the seal and I'm going to press it into place in the main housing. Next I'm going to take the spring-loaded carbon seal surface and uh, place that onto the auger shaft. Note that the metal retaining ring for the spring is going to butt up against the auger and then our carbon seal surface will mate against the ceramic seal when the two pieces go together. While the evaporator is torn down in this state, if you need to replace the bushing housing, we can simply unscrew the bushing housing from the retaining flange and replace this piece as well. With the two screws of the, of the bushing housing backed out, the bushing housing should come off easily. If it doesn't, you may have to use a uh, some kind of a dowel or something that can you can apply some force to knock the bushing housing off the evaporator. Prior to reassembly of the bushing housing, inspect the O-ring, make sure that the integrity hasn't been compromised, and then wet the O-ring with a small bead of petrogel so that it will create a good watertight seal. There's a notch in the evaporator barrel that would receive the bushing housing when it slid onto the barrel. So we slide that in place, we rotate our retaining flange, and we then screw it and fasten it down. I've removed the retaining flange, and I just want to note that there are three keys that line up onto the evaporator barrel and lock the flange piece in place. So it's important to remember during reassembly that that piece has to lock and pull forward onto the evaporator barrel. To re reassemble the evaporator, simply insert the auger and slide it into place. It'll be received on, uh, by the bushing housing on the left hand. 